What's up everybody, it's your boy Q Hicks here to give you another video about the rise of Tyrell Terry, Stanford's first one and done prospect. If this is your first time on the channel, definitely hit that subscribe button. Now let's get into it. Tyrell Terry is a 6'2 guard out of Minneapolis, Minnesota. In high school, Terry was a good lead guard with good size and terrific feel for the game. He had a quick handle and was somebody who could score from all three levels of the court. He had a quick release on his jumper with excellent passing ability, who always worked great off the pick and roll even in high school. Terry averaged 22 points and 7 assists his senior season while leading De La Salle High School to the Minnesota 3A state championship. He was a player that was very accomplished in high school. He left high school with three state championships in four seasons. He was a finalist for Minnesota Mr. Basketball and was a first team AP All-State selection while being a three-time All-Conference player selection. He was a four-star prospect coming out of high school, ranked the 78th player in his class in 2019 and the third ranked player in Minnesota. Terry decided to take his talents to Stanford and was looked at as being their point guard of the future. Most didn't see Terry making a huge immediate impact on the team. Stanford's team looked more like a rebuilding situation at best that was improving year by year. But Terry had other plans coming into his freshman season. Terry led the Cardinals to a 20-win season after winning 15 games the season before, exceeding expectations for the team. As a freshman, he averaged 14.7 points, 4.5 rebounds, 3 assists, and 1.4 steals a game. He shot 41% from the 3 and almost 90 from the line. He was also on the Pac-12 All-Freshman team. He had big games throughout the season, including 27 points with 7 three-pointers and a win versus Utah, while getting a couple of 20 and 10 double-doubles with points and rebounds. After a great freshman season, Terry had to make a decision on if he was ready for the NBA. But most scouts thought Terry was going to go back to school because of his size, being that he was only 160 pounds, and the fact that most of Stanford's 21 team was returning along with them having a stout recruiting class coming in 2020 with top 10 recruit Zaire Williams. But Terry declared for the draft in July because of good feedback from NBA scouts, becoming the first Stanford one and done player in their history. I think it was a good decision for three reasons. One, we don't know if there will be a college basketball season with the pandemic. Two, this draft doesn't have players with a lot of upside. And three, he could develop his body and game faster in the NBA or G League than he can in college. With the success of young, skinnier guards like Trey Young, Devontae Graham, among others, I think he could thrive on the next level if he adds 20 to 30 more pounds. Terry has been compared to CJ McCullum in his freshman year at Lehigh and Seth Curry, but I love the Seth Curry comparison way more. He had the same type of game as Curry coming out of Duke. Both could shoot from deep off the catch and off the dribble. Even though they didn't break you down in isolation, they were more pick and roll style of plays. They are under the rim players with great finishing ability while having high IQs and similar size in college. But I think Terry is a way better passer than Curry was at this stage in his career. In my opinion, I think Terry would be a top 10 pick if it wasn't for concerns surrounding how he will survive in the league with his frame. He has the skills that resemble some of the top young guards in the league. If I'm the Orlando Magic, I'm not letting him get past 15. The Magic don't have many guards with upside being that they draft a four it feels like every year. And that is a situation where I feel like he could break out if everything comes together. And also the Miami Heat. They are known for player development and he could thrive with that program. His draft range is late lottery to mid-20s, with the most likely landing spots being the Orlando Magic, the Philadelphia 76ers, and the Miami Heat. I just want to thank you guys for watching the video. If you got to the end, I really rock with you. If this is your first time on the channel, definitely hit that like and subscribe button. And let me know who you would like to see next. And I'm out. Peace.